Okay, and so uh, Mr. Um, Zondek, I'm going to handle Ms. Polchak because she's in the um, in the jail right now, and then I will handle your next okay. matter. Okay. All right. So we are going on the record in the matter of the City of Wyandotte versus Autumn Volchak two three two four seven nine. Autumn Volchak for probation violation on two three seven three nine and two three four zero five. And counsel, your appearance, please. Yes, good morning, Your Honor. Christopher Shemke appearing behalf of my client. This time we sent to the matter being heard via Zoom. Ms. Bolchak, can you please unmute yourself and state your name for the record? Autumn Bolchak. All right. And um, are you staying scheduled for the. Free trial and then probation violation. And counsel, let's handle the free trial first, please. Yes, Your Honor. After having an opportunity to speak to the prosecutor, my client's going to tender a guilty plea to count two possession of paraphernalia with the understanding that the underlying possession of a controlled substance will be dismissed. Okay, um, I'm not sure who else is in there, but if they are if there with you, you can close the door there, ma'am, so that there's not any background noise, please. Um, there's other people in this room. It's kind of a crowded room. So. There's kind of a bunch of different calls going on, but I can, I can mute it while... Um, well, if there's this conversation, I just need that to be stopped for a moment while we're on the record. Okay. All right, ma'am, please raise your right hand. Do you saw me swear from the top? No, the other right hand, please. Your right hand, please. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so you swear from the about to give them this to be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes. All right. And uh, you can you can lower your hand now. And ma'am, you heard the plea that your attorney placed in the on the record, correct? Yes, ma'am. And as to count two, which your attorney worked out a great deal given your, your history, ma'am. Count two, possession of drug paraphernalia. How do you plead? On my Asian side of the paraphernalia, uh, uh, guilty, Your Honor. Well, I'm sorry. I can you can is it you have, do you have a deputy in there with you, ma'am? Yes. Hi, I'm sorry, deputy. Um, is there a way that is there a, is there another court matter going on in there, or is this they're just conversation? Um, if there is uh, one particular loud person in here, I'll uh, I'll handle that right now. Okay, thank you, because it's my court recorder is indicating it's really interrupting the record. Okay. And so, ma'am, as to count two, possession of drug paraphernalia, how do you plead? Guilty, Your Honor. And you've gone over your advice of rights with your attorney, correct? Yes, Your Honor. And um, as to those rights, you understand all of them, correct? Yes, Your Honor. You also understand by entering into a plea that you'll be waiving some of those rights, specifically your trial and appellate rights. That's correct. And you've gone over your possible penalties as a result of your plea. Correct. And you also understand by entering into a plea, it will affect the other matter that you're currently on probation for. Yes. Okay, I really need that person to stop talking, please. And there aren't any immigration issues, correct? No, you aren't. And has anybody promised anything, threatened you or coerced you in any way for you to enter into a plea? No. All right, counsel, if you can please run to your client. I'd like to direct your attention back to December 1st, 2023. Were you in the city of Wyandotte? Yes. And at the time you were currently on probation, correct? Yes. At some point, incident to a warrant, you were searched and there was a, a pipe that was located on you for the purpose of using a narcotic. Is that correct? Yes. Satisfied, Your Honor. 
All right, the court is also satisfied the plea is knowing, voluntary, and factually accurate. The court will accept your plea to the count two, dismiss count one per the plea agreement. And counsel, um, we can schedule this for sentencing or we can um, proceed with sentencing today, given the fact that your client was sentenced to probation and didn't even really comply with anything. We were going to ask for immediate sentencing. All right, and the court will <clears throat> note that Ms. Polchak was arrested on December 4th. The court is familiar with Ms. Polchak, and um, the court will proceed with immediate, with immediate sentencing. And um, But counsel, before we do the immediate sentencing, let's handle the probation violations as well. And Ms. Polchak, you're still under oath and uh, violation on 23739 alleges that Ms. Bolchek failed to attend her probation instructional on June 15th and then again on June 22nd. And <clears throat> then and that's for her plea on the loitering where drugs are kept, used or sold in possession of controlled substance. And also on 23405, she failed to attend a probation visit on June 15th, failed to register and begin drug testing as ordered, failed to comply with any conditions of probation. And that's on her plea on possession of drug paraphernalia. And counsel? What's Your Honor, this time, yes, Judge, at this time, we were going to be hoping that uh, each one of these matters could be held concurrent. I saw the recommendations that we are prepared to proceed. Okay, and Ms. Bolchak, you're still under oath and asked to those violations that were alleged, how do you plead? Guilty. And you've gone over your advice of rights regarding probation violation purposes, correct? Yes. Is that yes? Yes. And knowing all, and you understand all of those rights? Yes, Your Honor. And you also understand by entering into a plea that you'll be waiving some of those rights, specifically your right to a contested hearing. Yes, Your Honor. And knowing all that, do you still want to continue with your plea? Yes, Your Honor. And you also understand the possible penalty in this matter, and the recommendation is for under advisement status to be revoked, probation to be revoked, and 60 days jail. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor. And <clears throat> knowing all that, ma'am, do you still want to continue with your plea? Yes. Has anybody promised or anything threatened you or coerced you in any way for you to enter into a plea? No. All right, counsel, you can please part your clients. Yes, I'd like to direct your attention to June 15th, 2023, and June 22nd, 2003. Did you fail to appear for a probationary instruction? Yes. And additionally, while on probation, you did accrue a new charge, correct? Yes. Satisfied, Your Honor. The court is also satisfied the plea is knowing, voluntary, factually accurate. The court will accept your plea <clears throat> to the probation violations. Enter a plea of guilty based upon your, I'm sorry, enter a probation violation based upon your plea of guilty. And that'll be technical violations one, two, three, four, and five. And counsel? Your Honor, I saw the recommendation for 60 days jail. I ask that my client get credit for the time that she's been in since December 1st. I'd ask that uh, it run concurrent with the admonishment that she's received from the charge that she just took a plea on. And then furthermore, she did ask that uh, during this time in custody, if possible, she would like the opportunity to be tethered to treatment. Thank you, Judge. All right, Ms. Bojack, did you request um, to be tethered to, treat, to treatment while you've been on bond? Yes, um, just to try to um, have time. I mean, I don't think I personally need treatment, but um, I know that that was something that I asked for when I first got arrested. So um, I'll I'll do the days. Um, I'll do whatever it takes. But I just I really just want to uh, get home. Okay, ma'am. Let me ask you a couple questions. Number one, if you don't think you need treatment, why did you ask to go to treatment? Um, I was trying to uh, have like the days made up. I don't know if it, I don't really know. <laughs> it, 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 well, it, you, 
I mean, yeah. you asked for treatment. So why did you ask for treatment? Uh, I'm sorry? Um, to not have jail time. Oh, that's what I thought. Okay. So, and you don't think you need treatment. Given your given given what's been going on with you the last year, you don't think you need treatment? Honestly, no. I really found myself in here. Um, I've been spending time with myself. Um, I don't know. I just... I don't feel like I need a, a, a guy or anything. I don't, I don't know. I just, I just want to uh, get going on life. Well, man, the way you've been going on life, not a great start. How old are you? 25. 25. And now you have three drug-related convictions. Three. Your under advisement status is revoked. You had an opportunity to not have your possession charge on your record, and you didn't do a darn thing with probation. Not at all. You just ghosted us. I know. I just, I know. if I get probation this time, I, I I told myself, like, you know, it would be at least six months. That That's all I would really need to get, like, clean. And, uh, you know, by summertime, I'd be... You know, working. I, I really want to get a car. Um, but aside from the job thing, just you know, I want to draw and make music, and I don't know. I just want to do things for myself. And I don't. I like coffee again. Um, I don't know. Just things I I've been drinking a lot of water. I, there's just a lot of things I was doing before that like I've been doing since I've been in here. Um, so I haven't. Hey, been ma'am, ma'am. Part part of the part of the concern, right, is when you get out, how are you going to continue to do stuff, right? That's part of what treatment is, and you don't think you need treatment. So I've, I've been to court seven times. I've been to treatment like seven times. I really, I just, I don't know. I know, I know how to work the program. I know to go to a meeting when I need to. I need, I know there's just different. I know. So you go through the motion. You go through the motions. You just go through the motions. You don't really receive what it is that you're getting. I really think I've learned a different way I've been incarcerated this time, ma'am. Um, it's, I, I don't know, it's just, it feels different. It feels really different. I'm going to hear any probation that you can use. Judge, we're ready to uh, hear the sentencing. Uh, we are ready to proceed, Judge. Okay. Yes, no, ma'am, you're not getting probation. I can tell you that much. The court's going to, on um, 23405, the court's going to adopt the recommendation, revoke probation, close the case without improvement, $50 probation violation fee, 60 days jail. On um, 23739, the court's going to adopt the recommendation. Your under advisement status is revoked, your probation is revoked, $50 probation violation fee, 60 days jail. The court will know that that will be served concurrent. Um, and then the court's going to also order on um, 232479, the court's going to order 93 days jail. Credit for your 15 days. That's consecutive with 23739 and 23405. And the court will suspend your fines and costs on that on this matter. What? Any questions, counsel? Uh, no, Your Honor. Any questions, ma'am? So, uh, how, how many days? Well, sixty on your probation violations plus ninety-three plus fifteen. So. That's going to be, I can tell you exactly what that is, ma'am. Is there any way I could do treatment? 138 days. Is there any way I could do treatment? 
You, you told this court you don't need treatment. Okay, I, 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 I no, you just you told this court the only reason you said that is because you don't want to do the jail time. No, that so you can do the jail time. Ma'am, I'll do treatment. I quite frankly, ma'am, with your um, lengthy warrant status and you're absconding from probation, I'm not sure that you would not abscond from from your treatment provider. Ma'am, I really, I can't, I can't do 130 days. Yeah, you said you didn't need treatment. I do. The problem was. I, I need help with housing when I get out of here. I, I need I'm sorry. I need help with housing when I leave here. Um, you know, I, I have my. Okay, I, I need that talking in the background to please stop. Somebody is. My record is, a, my court recorders indicated our record is a mess because of all the talking in the background. What was that, Ms. Bolchak? Hey, I really don't. I I think I need treatment. Instead, I. Ma'am, you are very clear. You've been to treatment seven times, and you don't need treatment anymore. No, I I do. No, I, I, no, I, I, I got a little ahead of myself. I. That, that's what I asked for when I first came in. Um, because I do have a right. job. Judge, potentially, uh, Judge, I know that potentially she might be asking for some sort of mental health treatment, but I understand the stock. It does need to be moved along. So if necessary, uh, we have to have the matter recalled later in the morning to potentially have it reevaluated. But I understand the docket does need to move along, Your Honor. Thank you, Judge. Thank you. Ms. Bolchak, I'm not ordering treatment for you at this point. Because you stated that you don't need treatment and you only asked for it so that you didn't have to do the jail time. Given that and the fact that you had absconded from probation with this court, the court has concerned that you're not going to abscond from treatment. So at this point, 138 days is what you're going to serve, ma'am. We're all done. Thank you. Off the record. Have a good day. Off the record.